Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the DC Collectible Showroom here at the 2015 New York Toy Fair. And our friend Kevin is going to tell us about some of the awesome new product that DC has on display. So first things first, how are you doing, man? Oh my god, it's Toy Fair. I'm doing amazing, yeah. of course. And we got a lot of cool things to show you. Oh, well show us. Let's see what we got. All right, so over here we have a lot of our cool media stuff that we're supporting right now. So we have both video game stuff and TV stuff. Obviously, DC TV is having a very good year. We have everything from Gotham and Arrow and Flash, Constantine, tons of stuff going on. So we wanted to support some of that with some of our cool product. Some things we've been doing and we're adding to it. So we have a six inch action figure line. So we're doing both Flash and Arrow support. Awesome. Flash is out right now, and so we wanted to show that we're going to be supporting it in a bigger way. So we got Captain Cold coming. Excellent. You got to love that. He's got his little hoodie and everything. And then we're supporting Arrow even deeper. So we've already been coming out with things, everything from a two pack to the Arrow figure from each of his seasons. We've had Black Canary, Deathstroke, Dark Archer, Deadshot, a ton of characters. But we were missing some more of the Arrow Cave crew. So we wanted to really do something special with that. So now we have. Felicity and Diggle. So we're adding in the whole team. And then you can't do that without having Arsenal into the mix. So Roy Harper's going to join them. So you're going to have your full Arrow team, and it doesn't seem like there's any signs of stopping. We're going right, to keep right, going. Right, The show's popular. I mean, yeah. it's got a huge fan base that just keeps building. So it's awesome to see product like that for yeah, it. We're really excited about this, and we've gotten a really great response from fans on this. And already sales have been great on the initial figures. It just leads, We're already working on, I can't tell you about it, but we're working on at least 10 new characters for between both shows. Oh, very exciting stuff. Oh, exciting. So in addition to the action figures, we also wanted to support stuff for those high-end collectors who want something really special for their office, their home, wherever it may be. So we have a whole line of these 12-inch statues we've been doing. We do them both for our theatrical pitches as well as for the TV shows. So we've done Arrow already, and you've gotten a version where his hood is up, his hood is down, you know, with the mask without. So we really had a good response to that, so we wanted to continue that same line. So you'll see we also have Flash. Grant Gustin, based on his scan, looks just like him. It's kind of magical. If you want a little mini Grant Gustin flash for your for your life, you have that uh, available for you. Awesome. And then we're also going to be adding into the mix James Gordon from Gotham. Nice. We're Very big cool. fans of the Gotham show. And so we really wanted to support that in some interesting way. You'll see something we have a little later as well. But in this case, we wanted to show you a uh, 12-inch statue of, of Jim Gordon there. Very exciting. Again, Very, Very cool. Based off Ben McKenzie's scan. So you got a little version of him as well. Awesome. So, in addition to all the cool TV stuff, we might have a little video game coming out this year. Oh, Arkham Knight's on the way soon. June 2nd, so you're going to be able to pick up the, the finale to the Rock uh, Steady uh, trilogy of cool Arkham games from Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, now this. So, we wanted to do a little support. It's going to be a big celebration of Arkham all year long. So, even after the game comes out, you're going to see just a lot of cool things going on with all of the games. So, in addition to the first wave of Arkham Knight figures, which we've already announced and we're showing here, there's some secret stuff we can't talk about yet, not until okay. June, okay. but in there there's going to be a lot more stuff coming, but we're also going to be celebrating all of the Arkham games, so you're going to have a really cool five pack that we're going to be doing featuring the four Batmans from the three Rocksteady games plus the um, Arkham Origins game, so you can get all those Batmans together with a Bruce Wayne for the first time. Ooh. So kind of exciting, so you can finally get your full story on. So in addition to that, with the Arkham Origins game, which came out last year, where there was a uh, a whole bunch of different um, assassins that were coming after uh, the characters in, right. in the game. There was like seven different guys. And we only did like five of them. Very super frustrating to fans. We only did like five of the figures. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure that we let people know, hey, we're still watching out for you and there's still potential to go and do all these other games. So we have a three pack coming out that features Lady Shiva and the Electrocutioner who were the final two assassins. Oh, very cool. And then we threw in Dr. Harleen Quinzel just to round it out as a really good three pack all from the Arkham Origins. That game. is fantastic. Yeah. What a great little assortment of characters. Yeah, yeah, cool stuff there. Awesome, so a lot of cool things to look forward to the video game stuff. and. Got a lot more exciting things to go over here and talk about. I think we have a lot of exciting things to talk about. So um, one of our big pushes for the show and just in general for us has been kind of a resurgence to the 1990s because, you know, that is so hot right now and it's our childhood kind of brought to life. So the Batman animated series. 
Like, how much do we love that? We love it a lot. And you're going to see a lot of love for it here at Toy Fair for us. So we have a lot of things to show you. So we'll take a walk over and look. All right, let's take a look at it. And them. the animated series. Got oh, animated series. what do we got over here for these? We got everything. So we've already started from last year some of our Batman animated action figures. So it's in a six inch scale. They have a whole bunch of episode specific accessories, a little base for them. Based off the model sheets from animation, we dealt with Warner Brothers Animation, got them all back. So really cool stuff had been going on. So we're going to continue continue that because we fell in love with it. And like we've been doing last time too, we're going to mix it up on each wave. So each wave is going to feature some from Batman the Animated Series and some from the new Batman Adventure. So you're going to get a little bit of both depending on which you're a fan of or hopefully you're a fan of all of it. Yeah. So we're going to have waves four and five coming out. So we're already that deep into this and we have so much more to do. So you're going to see characters like finally Batman from the Animated Series. You're going to get him. So we got Batman from the new Batman Adventures. We wanted to play that up. But now you're going to get the Batman from that. You're also going to get Riddler, Penguin, and then you're going to get Batgirl from the new Batman. Batman Adventures. All cool major characters, we have so much to do. Then we're going to continue it in with the next wave, which is going to have a whole bunch of cool characters. So we're going to have everybody from like Mad Hatter from the old series, and then a bunch of the new guys, like Nightwing, finally. Right. Uh, we're going to get in Bane, and we're even going to get in Scarecrow. So, so cool. still more to do, obviously, but we're just showing you like just the next couple waves. Well, and it's fun that you're jumping between like animated series and new adventure stuff. Um, so do you plan to kind of do like both variations of a lot of these characters and the villains? Well, it's funny. We just had a poll on our Facebook page too as we were celebrating our 250,000 likes and in it we asked like what characters do you want to see next and people went crazy over a lot of different characters but what we're seeing is people want one version from the one show or another version from the other so we're hearing loud and clear it's like everything you know and that's and you know what we're up for it awesome we're up for everything that is very very cool one of the things I wanted to touch on real quick before okay. we move on to all the other new stuff um, the line has been awesome it's been pretty well received but there has been some quality control issues with breakage and stuff yeah. and first of all I want to say that you guys have done a really great job of handling this you've been on top of it with great customer service you've really been listening to the fans about this so it's very commendable what you guys are doing um, but I did hear word that you're you're looking to kind of fix the plastic going forward on a lot of these figures so I wanted to kind of ask your opinion on that. Yeah, actually, we have an example here of one of the later waves. He's actually Killer Croc from Wave 3. Okay. So we mentioned this on our Facebook page, too, just recently around that same time we did the poll. But um, it's good to get it out there as much as possible that we heard loud and clear that some people were having some frustrating problems with the figures. Right. And we don't want that, obviously. We love this line a lot. We know that there's a lot of fans of yeah. this line. So we need to keep this, like pure and perfect for these guys. So what we did is we went back to our factories and we said, what can we do to make this even better? Because you know we want to make sure that everybody has a good experience with it, not like some people good, some people bad. So what we did is we looked at the joints, which was a lot of the frustration that some people had, and the plastics that we were using. And so we, we were able to reevaluate it, and we're going to be able to upgrade the, the strength of the plastic that's used for a lot of the major joints where there were problems. So everything from where the, um, the hips and the elbows and the um, shoulder blades and all those kind of major parts were, were hitting, we're looking at using a different, stronger plastic. Okay. Uh, we're also going to be doing um, some different uh, articulation in some of the joints that get really small, especially characters like Poison Ivy or even the Batgirl that you see here. The way that the designs are, they're super thin. We still want to keep that look of the character as close as possible, but make sure that it's strong enough so that it's usable. Like, you know, there's no good being exactly authentic if it doesn't work. So in a certain cases, in some of the um, character's ankles, you're going to see that we're going to maybe thicken up the, the space a little bit, you know, get a little bit more of a... Of a um, joint going on so that it's not so thin that breakage is easy. Okay. But between that and between the fact that you're going to see a lot better movement and rotation on these guys, you're going to notice the difference in the strength of the plastic right away. That's awesome. And are you guys going to be kind of um, going back to like the Series 1 and 2 characters too and kind of trying to strengthen those up? Well, the good news is it was really C Series 1 that you're going to see the most of that those issues mm -hmm. show up. And so what's going to happen is, the, obviously it's a very popular line, so any future production runs we incorporate all of our learnings that we had in this. So future production runs will definitely have the stronger version. You're also going to see there were some um, pins that you could see that were visible in some of the Wave 1 characters. Catwoman, I think it was very noticeable, and I think maybe even Batman. Uh, in future waves, we're trying to minimize that as much as possible. Okay. So you'll know also that it's a later wave because you're going to see that the pins are, are kind of covered up a little right. bit better. Awesome. Well, there we go. That is great news. So we, very cool. We love this line a lot, and we yeah. want to make sure that everybody loves it just as much as we do. And there's so much to do that we want to make sure that people are on board for the whole thing. Right, absolutely, because you're producing crazy things like Batmobiles in this line. A Batmobile. <laughs> a Batmobile yeah. that rolls 
for $99.95, like awesome. craziness, right? So we were really excited about this. This is kind of like the big thing for the show for us. We've, uh, from a DC Direct and DC Collectibles point of view, have never really gotten to do a working toy Batmobile before. So for us, when we threw out the idea, we're like, can we do this? What's the price going to be? Is this going to be too much? Are we, you know, kind of going a little too crazy? But we love this line so much. And to show our commitment to it, we wanted to make sure we had everything possible for, for fans. And so we're like, a Batmobile is one of those things. It's as important as Batman. But we were frustrated, like I think everybody was as a kid, when you have a smaller version of it that's very affordable, but it doesn't feel like the actual vehicle from the show. Right. One of the main differences was it fits two characters. Batman and Robin have got to ride in this Batmobile. Yeah, so our version does that. We wanted to make sure that it would be big enough to be able to fit two characters side by side. Now, we don't have final production versions of the Batman and the Robin from that period show yet, but we do have them from the new version. So I was able to fit the new Batman and the new Robin in there next side to side. So it fits all eras yes. <laughs> of characters. So yeah. we definitely played that out. There's also a great thing where we have feature of lights uh, that are in this. Now, oh, they're really? very subtle. So actually, I'm going to sure, yeah. do a quick turn on. So you can kind of see a little bit. So everything from the headlights light up, we have a couple lights inside that do, and the exhaust and the brake lights as well. That is cool. So just a nice little extra feature to show that like this is a collectible version. It's right. not just a toy on wheels. And it is that, yeah, and it's I mean, more. That looks really cool, like set up on the shelf. You got a little bit of glow oh, coming yeah. off of it oh, yeah. there. I mean, it looks like a nice collectible piece. Yeah, you're going to get like you know the closing of, this is just the prototype, but even then it still has the opening and closing of the, uh, of the entrance there. Nice rolling wheels. It's... It's going to be pretty sweet. Yeah, We're excited. It looks fantastic. Excited. So a lot of cool things coming on with uh, Batman here. I mean, Phantasm's down here. Well, what? That's the other exciting thing, too. So what? we're like, okay, yeah, we've been doing the two series. Now we're going to throw a little curveball. We're going to throw a little Batmobile in. We're also going to throw a little Mask of the Phantasm in there, too. So it's going to be a two-pack. It's going to be the same Batman that you're going to get in the um, original series as well, but with a different face sculpt. Gotcha. So you're going to get a different expression. He's a little bit more intense on that one. And it's going to come with your Phantasm figure as well. That is cool. Does Phantasm have, like, removable mask or anything like well, that? We're or looking at something like that, but not to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen the movie, but the person it's revealed to be, when you put that head on that body, it looks a little strange. So yeah. we've kind of held it back for that reason. So right now the intent is just this. See, I didn't spoil who it is. Uh -huh. Good uh -huh. job. Nice. Nicely uh -huh. done. Like 20 years on, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to you know, at least show that we're doing this, and there may be opportunities later for more packs, more deluxe. We have a lot of ideas coming up for 2016, right. so you're going to see. So these guys will be in the beginning of 2016. It kind of sets the tone for where we're going to be going. Excellent. And then we have our first deluxe with Roxy Rocket. Yeah, how so cool is that? So she's the first deluxe because her name's Roxy Rocket, and you can't do Roxy without the rocket. Right. So she automatically became the first deluxe. There's going to be a little light, too, for her exhaust in there, too, so you'll have oh. a little like battery light. So That's just a little nice. something extra for that. She'll be able to you know, fit onto the rocket and all that kind of fun stuff which opens up the door to a lot of other possible deluxes we have already, you know, working in these in these minds of ours. When you guys revealed this last year, like I just I guess I didn't realize the possibilities were like going to be so like open and wide open like this. It was cool getting a few animated versions of these characters, but now we've just got this massive line with vehicles and deluxe figures, and it's just kind of mind-blowing. We look at it as a challenge. Yeah. Our challenge is to see how we can keep reinventing and pushing things each time. Yeah. So hopefully every time you come to Toy Fair, every time you come to San Diego Comic-Con, we're going to have something going on. That is awesome. So a lot of great things going on here with uh, the animated series, yep. but you guys have a ton of other cool stuff down the line, so let's move on down. Sure. Let's take a look over here for our designer action figure line. So what this is, is basically something we've been doing for years. Our six and three quarter scale action figure line that bases something off of uh, an artistic style, whether it's one of our artists from a comic book or a really cool artist we just really want to celebrate. So what we do is we take their style and see how well can we translate this into 3D. And um, we've had a lot of fun playing with these guys with really distinctive styles. And we're showing off one we're really proud of right now, which is Jay Lee. So Jay Lee, working on the Batman Superman book, has this really cool, you know, interesting style for 2D. But we're like, what is that going to look like in 3D? And we had some fun when he did um, a cover for Ozymandias and, and before Watchmen, where we did a statue of that. And then we did a Batman black and white for him. And we're like, oh my god, his style is really fun to play with. So we're doing a whole line of his characters from the Batman Superman book. So we got Batman Superman, obviously, Wonder Woman and Catwoman, who also guest star in that storyline. So really fun stuff, great um, articulation a really fun design where we're doing a lot of his line work and stuff in 3D, so we're really excited about right. that. Very cool. 
And to follow it up for something that's a little different too is Terry Dotson, who we love his art style, really fun, friendly. He worked on Teen Titans Earth One, a graphic novel all about the Titans in a new kind of version, like new costumes, new kind of world. So we wanted to celebrate the Titans, but in a way that's a little unexpected. So you get yeah. these really cool costumes, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, he has a little alternate head and cyborg. Yeah. So we're excited about that. Awesome. We're going to keep going into that. You know, the Terry Dotson set is in 2016. It shows you that we're going to come up with you know some new artists that we're going to try and take advantage of, as well as you know lines that sell really well. You're probably going to see additional characters from those, but no spoilers yet. No spoilers yet. Very very cool. That's going to set us up for what we're coming soon, which oh, is at yeah. the end of 2015. This is exciting. This was your other big announcement here, right, before Toy Fair started. Big start. announcement. So we're really excited about this. This is our Icons action figure line. So what this is is a six-inch scale. So what we were just saying with the designer series is six and three-quarter. This is the first time in a long time that DC Direct and DC Collectibles has gone to a six-inch scale. Yeah. So we also did a poll last year with our fans, and they had said what they want to see is some more articulation, uh, more breadth of character, all that kind of fun stuff. So we're like, well, let's see, what can we do? What would feel right for us? We have this really cool thing going on in our comic books right now called Convergence for a couple months, and it's a storyline where all these different eras of all the characters are going to come in and interrelate. So we thought it would be really fun to be able to celebrate that in a different way as well from an action figure point of view. So what we're doing is celebrating that all ways we can. New six inch line based on the designs from Ivan Rice, who's a really amazing artist who's doing this thing that makes it a cohesive feeling line, but we're touching all these different eras. So in the first wave alone, we have everything from like a Mike Grell Longbow Hunter Green Arrow kind of costume to like a Hush Batman to um, Mr. Miracle from the New 52 and then Brightest Day Dead Man. So you get like all these different eras all in one kind of wave as they come out. And they're all going to have a, a bunch of accessories as well. Sometimes it's replaceable hands or heads. Um, sometimes they're cool things like, you know, Mr. Miracle comes with a mother box. And then we have like some kind of crazy stuff we're doing. Like for the first time, I think we're doing a little um, ghost version of Dead Man that you can put on other characters so he can possess them. Oh, wow. So it's not going to fit on all heads. Obviously, Batman's pointy ears might cause trouble, but he yeah. wouldn't be possessed by Dead Man anyway. Right. But it's something that will fit on like some of the other characters to kind of give that extra little bit. Yeah, that's you know? cool. So we're trying to really represent the cool things that these guys do. So the second wave, these. so first off, the first wave's probably end of 15, like November. So maybe right after that, December of 15 is where we're going to see wave two. So we really want to get a big push of these guys out right away. The second wave has some really cool characters in it where we're going to see things like a crisis uh, flash. So we're, he's going to come with his treadmill, and it's going to be fun from that 80s, 90s era. We're going to have Blue Beetle pre-New 52, so you're going to see him in his first you know, Jaime Reyes version. Right. We're going to see uh, Lex Luthor, as he's seen in the Justice League right now and from forever evil so he's in his like cool like power armor and then we're gonna see black adam that has these cool interchangeable hands with lightning in them so it's like fun stuff like that and then we're doing our first deluxe already and and basically green lantern how jordan became deluxe because we had so many accessories we wanted to put with him right. and it ended with this big cool construct that actually attaches to him so he's in this big green armor so he becomes our first deluxe figure that tied to our, our Wave 3 just shows we start getting crazier and crazier with all the things that come with these guys. So we have Superman uh, from a more like 80s, 90 period where it comes with the robot Keelex. Um, and we also get an, an alternate head with him where he's like heat vision angry. We got a cool Aquaman. Uh, Harley Quinn that has like interchangeable heads and all this stuff. And then Atomica, which is our kind of Atom 3 pack in a way. So you get Atomica at the full size. You get a Ryan Choi Atom at the middle size. It'll have some articulation. And then you get little Ray Palmer shrunk down to his smallest size. Oh, wow. Cool thing is, those guys were digitally sculpted. You may see a pack where you get three of them again, but at different scales, and then another time. And wow. So eventually, we want to celebrate all the atoms together. So you're going to start seeing that awesome. going through. And so I assume that the plan is just to keep growing in this this line because, I mean, we have other important characters like Wonder Woman who we don't have here yet. Yeah, amazingly, why wouldn't we do all the major characters right away? Because there is long plans for this. And again, this is one of those things where we're going to go and go and go. And then, you know, more deluxe items, you know, just really creative things that we think are going to come out of this. And the whole DC universe is open to us on this one, so it's, it's pretty exciting. Awesome. Very, very cool. That's the line that I'm really excited about. I thought it was a great announcement. And these look awesome in person, so I'm pretty excited for them. Cool. Good. We're excited about it, too. Very, very cool. All right. What else we got coming down the line so here? We've got a lot of statues coming as well. So we have our Icon statue line, which is basically these good classic versions of some of the main heroes. And you're going to see a lot of characters that are being supported in media in a big way. So everybody from Shazam, who has a movie coming out eventually. Uh, we have Green Lantern. We have Firestorm, who's making a lot of appearances in the TV shows between Arrow and Flash. Uh, and then we move on to the female statues. So we have uh, 
two great female lines. One of them is the Bombshells line, which we're super excited about, which is that 1940s pinup style yeah, version, right. the nose art kind of uh, stuff, and it's been very successful for us. We've gotten to do a lot of female characters. And then last year, we had a really cool comic event, really cool variant cover months, where they had all these versions of the characters on the covers. So we got a really great response from some of that, and two of the characters specifically that got an amazing response was Lois Lane and Batwoman, which were really awesome for us because they don't get nearly enough collectibles. So we immediately put into production 3D sculptures of those two versions. So we got um, showing here at the show, Lois Lane in her kind of like Daily Planet Newsies outfit, and Batwoman in her, you know, League of Her Own kind of, you know, Batwoman, Batgirl outfit. So really fun for that. We're also going to be showing off Catwoman based on her variant cover, and for the first time, a deluxe bombshell. So we got Joker and Harley together. So cool. Kind of a little riff on that Times Square kiss, you know, yeah. where the, except role reversal a little bit where Harley's taking the lead there. So right. we had a lot of fun with that one. Excellent. And then we have our Cover Girls line, which is a really nice line inspired by the art of Stanley Lau, that kind of slightly anime, but very iconic, strong females. So we have two really heavy hitters in that line, a Harley Quinn for the first time and Wonder Woman, looking great. And then we kind of threw in a little curveball there and threw in Red Lantern Blees, just to get that character that's like, you know, representing the Green Lantern universe, but just kind of adding a little bit of spice, somebody maybe a little unexpected. Right, very cool. So all really great stuff here that we're really excited about. And it's, so we've been, um, for years now, uh, presenting our Batman Black and White line, which we love a lot. It's a seven-inch statue line that just does some really great artistic interpretations of the characters. So this year we're really excited for our first Batgirl in the line, based off the new hit uh, Batgirl reinvention, uh, Batgirl Burnside. Uh, and so we have uh, Babs Tarr and Cameron Stewart's version of that. We have Brian Hitch, who's going to be on our Justice League of America book coming up in June, his version of Batman. Then we have Carlos Deanda's Batman and Scarecrow. So he, besides being a Wildstorm and DC artist, also did a lot of concept art for the Arkham Asylum video game, which I don't yeah. know if everybody knows. No so we went back to his original designs and he finished off some stuff for us. So we got his really cool, creepy Scarecrow awesome. and really great Batman. And then finally, we got an amazing Harley Quinn concept from Paul Dini. Back when he was first working on the Batman animated show, we saw in a you know, book that was showing this whole um, history of it, this version of a sketch he had done of his idea. And we're like, this is amazing. Yeah. How, do, how do we get this finished off? And he's like, yeah, sure, I'll come by and I'll finish it off for you. Finishes off his concept, so we're really happy to be able to support the original vision for his Harley Quinn. That is cool. So we now have Bruce Timm's version we've done in this and Paul Dini's, so wow. we're really excited for that. That's awesome. So we're continuing our Man of Steel and our Art of War lines for both Superman and Wonder Woman. So additional um, artists here. We have John Romita Jr., who's on our Superman book right now. Uh -huh. Cully Hamner, who did some designs for the new 52 version. And then Darwin Cook in his like, New Frontier cool retro version of Superman. And then we have two Wonder Womans here that we're really excited to show off. One from Jill Thompson, really great to have a female creator on our Wonder Woman line. And then this really cool version of Wonder Woman from the Robert Valley shorts from DC Nation. You can find them on the web, they're amazing. There were these three little shorts that they played of this kind of 70s inspired muscle car you know, version of Wonder Woman. Yeah. So striking, so interesting, we needed to put it in 3D. That is very, very cool. Great looking. That's a great design. I just yeah. an amazing design. In in the the clip, it's great. She's on Paradise Island, but she's in an invisible muscle car. Like it's just like the just really cool kind of attitude to it, and everybody's super long and tall in that Amazon yeah. way. It's just great. Awesome. Well, you guys have some really incredible stuff going on here at New York Toy Fair. I mean, amazing line of new action figures, some really beautiful statues as always, um, and just a lot of really great things to look forward to here. We're excited. I mean, we think we have something for everyone, which is what we're really excited about. Very cool. Well, hey, Kevin, thank you very much for taking the time to walk us through all of this product. Um, it was very appreciated, a lot of great information here, and it was really awesome talking to you. Anytime. We love having you. by. There you go, guys. So right here from the DC Collectibles showroom at the 2015 New York Toy Fair, this is Pixel Dan reporting. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at Toy Fair 2015. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Mandalorian30 on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again. Stay up to date with Toy Yak and Pixel Dan at Toy Fair 2015. Follow at Toy Yak Pack on Twitter or Toy Yak on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in and see you again.